I could just like make music that I like and it'll piss a lot of people off that I don't like. <laughs> that's, that's kind of fun, not gonna lie. Uh, well, well, the griffin is like an amalgam um, of different animals and we are as a group also an amalgam. I thought that was quite fitting. Also, in our hometown Basel, there is a tradition wherein an, a, a griffin, it's man in the costume, but wherein uh, a griffin figure goes through the poor part of town, gives up money, and he turns his backside to the rich part of town. And that's just a cool ass 800 year old tradition and I wanted more people to know about it. Uh, the metal scene in Basel is pretty cool, actually. I mean, there's, there's a club called Z7, which is pretty close by, it does really good, good shows. Also, there used to be far more squats where like weird metal bands would play in grindcore. Mm. And that was very fun. So it was a, was a thriving little scene. The first time I went, I was like 13 or something. It was like a place where you could just drink beers and everyone's cool and tattooed and you know, it's just kind of crusty, I guess. And then there was really loud music with freaky people. And um, I don't know, there's not, not one aspect of it that wasn't enticing to a young teenage mind. The first ever, ever Silver Art gig was at such a squat in Basel. It was 3 a.m., just me with a laptop looking pretty fucking stupid. I wouldn't say it was the worst. I, I just felt very <laughs> uncomfortable. So I was there in, because they had a proper like venue room-ish. I was in the basement. I had like a, a bar table where my laptop sat on and the guitar. And I was like kind of hopping between the, the space bar and like the microphone. It, it looked probably really cool, honestly. It was very, very cool. It's exactly the same. Yeah. And it hasn't changed. Because that's honestly all, also the only way I really know how to make that sort of music. So I think if I were to change the way I do it, it's the hypothetical, of course, but I think it would perhaps change like the, the honesty of it. Because it starts very solipsistic and very lonely, or alone, not lonely. And I think that's kind of important to, to the project itself. Uh, like worst written or worst rated? Deepest choice. Um, there's a couple of them. They, like the people, like the, the true black metal people, are hyper f fond of us and they have some choice words. Um, there's a couple, one, a couple of impressions on 4chan which are also quite colorful. Um, and the, uh, Anthony Fantano gave uh, the self titled a four. Really? Yeah, that stung. I don't talk to him anymore since then. <laughs> we never talk, but still. <laughs> yeah, it's just funny. Because yeah. it's, it's, it's just like, basically they're, they're protecting their teen dream. Because we were the most coolest, the most extreme teenagers. And they're really protective of that like idea. And to kind of flip it on its head makes me really irritated. And that makes me really happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was absolutely a shithead. I was like, yeah. this is fucking too soft. Like, you're not listening to the proper grindcore band. Like, that kind of shit. Um, which is silly. And now I just like music. It's, it's funny, because look, the, the, the action to reaction ratio is so, it's such a good, good uh, uh, outcome. So, my, I, I could just like make music that I like, and it'll piss a lot of people off that I don't like. <laughs> That's, it's kind of fun, not gonna lie. Not really. I mean, like, uh, I met, I, I was in the same proximity of Gauls and he didn't torture me. I met Attila from Mayhem, it was fine. He th said it was a good gig. So either we are super true or he is like no longer true. That's for you to decide, <laughs> metal, metal crowd. Um, I don't know. Not really, because I think the people who really don't like us don't listen to us. Why would they? So they don't have the time of the day to. I've, I've had couple of fanboy moments. I'd, I've never, I would never be able to talk to Devin Townsend with chat without being a total geek. <laughs> uh, same with Mike Patton, I guess, and uh, Bjork. Yeah. Haven't met either of them, the last two, let's say. Uh, something weird, because like, uh, touring with Highland just showed me that we can be weird with other weird people. Um, I don't really care. As long as they're, you know, interesting enough, Bjork would be amazing, of course. That would be very cool. That would be very fucking cool. I would pay to see that. Yeah, I would, I would pay to do that. Yeah. <laughs> Bjork, not really, like, you know, still pay us, but still, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>